So I'm speaking with Rob Reck from Pulte Financial Services. Rob, the number one thing I'm hearing about here on the floor is the fact that nobody has enough security talent. So may I ask you, is everyone living below the security poverty line? You know, I, I think that the model of going out to the market, finding a an experienced security analyst, a ex ex experienced security engineer, that's really not going to work. All we're doing is just stealing from each other. The, uh, the solution, of course, is to find the folks who, are, who have aptitude to learn, willing to learn, train them up. I don't think that it's really a question of, you know, can they go buy the most expensive tools? You can make a secure environment without going out and buying all of the things that our wonderful sponsors back there are selling. Um, but you have to have the right people running them, the right people keeping an eye on it in order to keep the environment going. So if I want a job in security, there's no problem me finding a job out there. Is that because you were just telling me that you think that unemployment rate in security is at zero percent. Why do you believe that? Well, I, I don't know. I don't personally know any security folks who who haven't been able to find a job. And, and really, like I mentioned earlier, well, oh, that's good security folks, right? right. Absolutely. There's, there's there's maybe a couple of exceptions, but uh, the, the security people who know what they're doing, who've been doing it for a while, um, they're not having a hard time finding a job. And really, we're just poaching from one another. So I, I really want to focus on you know developing talent from within, you know, finding young folks or you know, folks who career changers who want to get into security and learn that stuff rather than going out and poaching the the guy from that organization across the road um, number one it's going to be less expensive number two I think it's sustainable it's just not sustainable to keep stealing folks from other organizations could part of you know growing beyond the security poverty line have to do with training talent that is not ever going to be in security just to be more security minded yeah, you know, that's one of the things that I know my organization, I work on really hard is uh, building my security team. You know, I have my dedicated staff, but then I have I have folks in the rest of the organization who, who, who need to know what their security requirements are. So we build it, you know, into the SDLC process, work with the developers, you know, here's what, how you make a secure application, work with our server admins, here's how you harden an application. We come up with some guidelines, some policies, some standards that we're gonna hold them accountable for, but they're doing much of the work that in some organizations might be exclusively done by the security team.